Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture, we talked about how we can identify if a problem includes three. In this lecture, we are going to talk about how we can approach these kind of problems. So to solve such problems, recursion is a powerful tool. Binary tree object is itself a recursive object or a recursive structure. And while breaking up your problem into sub-problems, you must remember this point. Always see it like a recursive structure. How is it a recursive structure? This tree itself visually have repetitive structure. If you look at the root node, it is having a left child and a right child. Again, if you see its left child, which itself is a node, it is having a left child and right child. So at all the nodes, structure is same. Each of its part is identical to entire object. So it's a recursive structure. When you solve problems for such a structure, you don't have to think much on how to break it up. It is already visible. What you do for the one part or for one node is exactly same to what you will do for the entire object. And if there are no more nodes attached to the node, then we should stop. And this will be the base condition. So when we use recursion to solve tree related problems, the steps are we do the logic for the current node or the calculation at the current node. We call the function in recursion for the left node we call the function recursively for the right node as well and we write the base case. Base case almost every time is when we reach to the leaf node because after that we have no more nodes or values in the tree. Node.left and node.right both are null or none. Each of the leaf nodes have their values and as they exist, technically they also have left and right. But as they are leaf nodes, we can't have further nodes. The left and right values for them are null or none. That is why in most of the cases, base case can occur when we reach to these null or none values attached to the leaf nodes. So these are the four points to remember while writing solution for three kind of problems. However, the sequence of first three points can vary problem to problem. For instance, in pre-order traversal, this order is valid. When we traverse a tree in pre-order, we read the current node first. So we are writing the current node's logic first. And then after the current node, we traverse the left node. So we recurse in left and after that we recurse or we traverse the right node. So for that, we are recursively going towards right. And at the end comes the base case. But in other traversals, for example, in in-order traversal, left node comes first, and then comes the node itself, and then comes the right node. So first we recurse for left, and then we implement the logic for the current node, and then we recurse in right. And finally, we write the base case. And if I talk about post order, where the left comes first, and then comes the right node, and then the node itself. So in this case, the order or the sequence of steps will be this. We first go recursively towards left, then we go towards right to read the right subtree, and then we do the logic for current node, and then comes the base case. So this will be the sequence, but steps are going to remain same. So this was all about approaching the solution using recursion. We can also solve these problems iteratively, but the recursive solutions are more intuitive and concise. That's why we will go with recursion to implement the solutions.